I'm not seeing any shadow. Just so you know, Inari are not literally foxes. That's just a form they're said to take when on Earth. Okay, uh, so, based on what we saw earlier, the eyes should line up once we defeat a shadow. But where is it? Speak of the devil and he appears. Let's get this over with. Right! Hopefully we can proceed now.
issues do appear affected now. Hell yeah! We're on our way! Yeah, let's get going! Look! The pony is just beyond here. I have slipped her location. Kind of strange when an AI puts it that way. But my senses are telling me the same thing. I'm almost there, Connie. Cognition? Her cognitions? What? What does that even mean? They're just some phonies. She sure won't look like us when we're done with them. <laughs> we better make it quick. Hang on, Akane. I'm coming to get you. Listen to me. Yeah! 
This one. This one. Shisa, Allegor, you're mine.
They may have appeared like us on the surface, but in the end, they were pale imitations. They never stood a chance. <laughs> Not against the real thing. No way. How could this happen? How could my Phantom Thieves lose? Does that mean you're the real ones? So you're the actual Joker? You betcha. Can't mimic authenticity. Please trust us, Akane-chan. And your father, too. None of us would ever give in to injustice. And no matter what, we never stray from our chosen path. But you... <laughs> to be honest, Akane, you were right. I'm probably the worst dad out there. I couldn't avenge Aoi. Nor could I carry out my duties as an officer. Hell, I... I couldn't even talk to you face to face. <laughs> I was afraid to lose you, and so I turned my back on justice and buried the thought of vengeance for Aoi. All this time, I've been fooling myself, thinking one day I'd get my chance. But I couldn't have been more wrong, so I want to set things right. I swear that I'll bring those criminals to justice for what they've done to you too, and Akane. I need your courage to do it. Really? Are you really going after him? Yes. Consider it a promise to your mother. Then, if it's a promise, I will never, ever forgive you if you break it. Don't worry. I never will, Akane. I... I believe you. I always have. Dad! Akane! Stay with me, Akane! I've always been so scared of losing what's precious to me. After Mom passed away, you changed. You used to be so cool. And suddenly, you didn't even want to look me in the eye. You were never home, either. Like you didn't want to see me. I hated that. Akane. But it's okay now. I can tell. You want to be the dad I used to know. I'm really sorry, Dad. And... Thanks. No. This has to be some kind of joke. It has to be! Calm down, Wolf. This is how it always happens. Huh? Akane-chan, or should I say Akane-chan Shadow, went back to her former self. That's a sure sign the real Akane will go back to normal too. So cheer up, Wolf. 
<laughs> you guys couldn't have mentioned that sooner? That display of emotion as you cried your heart out. It was touching, to say the least. Mm -hmm. It made me cry a little too. <laughs> Something like that. Gotta say, you're one hell of a dad. Very admirable, Wolf. And that's putting it mildly. He did everything he could to protect Akane-chan. Even risking his own life. <laughs> Would you cut it out? I'm nowhere near that competent. <laughs> Are you blushing? All jokes aside, there's no need to hold back anymore, Wolf. Together, we can strike down any evil. All of us working as one. <laughs> Never thought a thief could teach me a thing or two. But you know what? I made Akane a promise to arrest Konoe and Owada, and bring this case to an end. Damn right! Uh, not to backtrack, but what's going on with Akane in the real world? Actually, we came here because we heard she was kidnapped. Maybe she was never kidnapped to begin with. Might be good to check if she's at home. Sounds like a plan. We're done here. so much like your mother. You grew up, maybe even a little too fast. I was so desperate to protect you that I became blind to just about everything else. I failed you as a father, but I'm done running away. Kanoe's going to pay for using you, and Owada's going down with him. He's going to answer for taking Aoi from us. I won't lose sight of justice ever again. Akane! Are you alright? You're not hurt anywhere or anything, are you? I, uh... I'm okay. Oh. Good. When did I fall asleep? Oh, that's right. You wouldn't remember. Remember what? Uh... How should I explain this? Alright. We'll take it nice and slow. There's a lot to talk about. Will you hear me out, Akane? I'm really glad Akane-chan is okay. Well, I'm with you there. This time was a little too close. But why did Akane-chan become a monarch? Hmm, it sounded like Akane-chan kinda had her own agenda. Is that what makes you a monarch, though? Well, one... Akane was made into a monarch to capture us. If I had to guess, Kanoe is the one who set this up. Although I'm not sure if he was acting on Awada's orders or just on his own. Do you think Kanoe made Alice and Natsume into monarchs too? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. But it probably wasn't for the same reason he made Akane into one. That part remains a mystery. Playing with other people's hearts like that. He won't get away with this. Yeah, just you wait, you goat shit mother... Is it gone? Oh, looks like they haven't found this place just yet. We're stuck here unless we do something. Incoming phone call from Asai Nijima. What? From Sis? Hello? Some time. Do you remember me? It's Sai Nijima. Glad to see I was of some help. <sighs> Sounds like you've stuck your nose into something big again. Is everyone else with you? Uh, could you put me on speaker? <sighs> it's good to hear you're all okay. Sis, thank you. I knew you'd come through for us. You owe me big for this one. 
My help doesn't come cheap, you know. For real, you really saved our asses. We would have been totally boned if you hadn't got Gramps out. Gorgeous and professional. That's a recipe for a femme fatale super lawyer if I've ever seen one. Flattery won't get you anywhere, just so you're aware. Plus, I can't take all the credit. Anyway, I have some good news. The arrest warrant for the Phantom Thieves has been voided. That should keep the police off your backs for the time being. What? How did that happen? The arrest warrant didn't have a judge's seal. What's more, the evidence submitted was fake. It seems like someone wanted you all arrested. And they didn't care what for, so long as it was done. Not only that, but it turns out the Public Security Bureau had a hand in Inspector Hasegawa's unlawful investigation. The Prefectural Police are scrambling to cover this up right now. They can't afford to be out looking for you. I'll contact you if anything happens. In the meantime, just focus on getting out of your current predicament, okay? Just make it back in one piece. No better way to say thanks. Sis, thank you so much. Stay safe, Makoto. All right, I have business to take care of. I'm looking forward to hearing from you again. How encouraging. To know there are others out there who support us. Mm-hmm. We'll need to do all we can to succeed, for their sakes, too. Now we just gotta come up with a plan. What should we do? If Kanoe is responsible for changing everyone's hearts, then it's likely this case will be resolved once we change his heart. Yeah, and we'll clear our names, too. Right. We won't be suspects in the director's murder anymore, either. But we still don't have the keyword for Kanoe's jail. He seems to be more aware of our activities than we expected. I doubt we'll be able to carry out Zenkichi's plan at this point. And that's not all. If he knows about us, then he probably knows to keep his keyword safe as well. Safe to assume he won't just carelessly let it slip out. Not while his heart's liable to be changed. Up shit creek without a paddle. Now what? Hmm. We just need someone who can get Kanoe's keyword without raising suspicion. Is that right? Do you know of such a person? What about Kuan Ichinose? Of course. Ichinose-san's the one who developed Emma. And she's had contact with Kanoe, thanks to the lecture at the university. Ichinose-san might be able to get Kanoe's keyword without seeming out of place. This just might work. Huh, good job, Sophia. A piece of cake, as they say. See if you can call her up right now. Hello? Oh, hello there. You seem to be doing okay. That's great to hear. Truly brightens my day. Hmm? Did something happen? Or, wait, let me back up a bit. How did things go in Okinawa? Oh, right. We never told Ichinose-san about Okinawa. That's true. We should fill her in on what's been going on. Oh, it sounds like you're all together. Okay, let's hear it. I see, I see. It seems you're caught up in another crazy adventure as usual. <laughs> hey, this ain't nothing to laugh about. Oops, I guess that wasn't right of me. Hmm, I think I understand what's going on. So, you're after Kanoe-san's keyword, right? Right. Do you think you can get it out of him? Well, asking him for it might be kind of weird. I mean, I already got it from him a while ago. Say what? But, but how? Well, the day you guys came to that lecture, there was a little social gathering afterward for some of the bigger names involved. It was there I ran into Kanoe-san and he gave me his business card. The keyword was right there on the front. Huh. Now where'd I put it? Oh, I'm pretty sure I had it right uh, here. Please, you gotta find it. This is top priority. Oh, oh, right, okay. I think it was around here somewhere. Have a nice day! Uh, 
uh, eccentric as ever, isn't she? And it's gonna take till tomorrow? How messy do you think her room is? A small price to pay. Uh, That's his keyword. Mm-hmm. We'll be able to enter Kanoe's jail. Can we really count on her, though? I'm not so sure, but we don't have any other options right now. Yeah. Let's just make sure we're prepared for when we finally infiltrate the jail. Tomorrow, we'll link up with Zenkichi and head to Osaka.